During my lifetime, I have dedicated myself to the struggle of the African people. I have fought against white domination and I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the ideal of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an ideal for which I hope to live and to achieve. But if needs be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. The author and original orator, Nelson Mandela. The occasion during his trial, which culminated in him being sentenced to life imprisonment in 1964. His crime, he dared to fight for the right to be free in his native land. land, land. Viva Mandela! Wherever on the face of this our planet Earth, man fights for what's his by right of birth. A moment's silence if you please, for one who suffered in pursuit of these. Twenty-seven years of deprivation, 27 years of attempted humiliation meted out by the devil's advocates and compounded by their associates. His health has been broken, but his spirit is not. Death holds no fears for this intrepid patriot who with stoic resolve and exemplary courage dedicated his life to black adult suffrage. He cannot be bought, he will not be sold, and his quest for justice is honest, he's bold, he seeks not to avenge, dominate, or oppress, but for political equality, no more, no less. To settlers in his country he's willing to say, my country's your country, you're welcome to stay. It's entirely up to you where you wish to reside. We have no desire to practice apartheid. What manner of man can be so magnanimous to unwittingly appeal to the best in most of us? His body was captive to men of evil, but his spirit was free and soared like the eagle. Lesser men and bigots will try to denigrate him for monetary gain and to justify racism. But that torch of freedom he bore with such dignity shall become a beacon to the opponents of inequity. Viva Mandela, Patriot Supreme. You ran the gauntlet of an evil regime. Your triumph evoked universal euphoria. Long live freedom. Long live Nelson Mandela.